We are live from Fist Energy Stadium here in Cleveland, Ohio, home of the Cleveland Burns, where there's smoke, there's fire, and there's plenty of smoke up here in the booth. We are in for a barn burner today. Oh, that's coming from the toilets in the men's room. They're on fire again. I'll tell you, this is not an aroma I'm fond of, Graham. Like Limburger cheese fondue gone bad. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers. The Blitzburg Steelheads battle, the Cleveland Burns. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hi again, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here, along with the only guy to ever get cut from the league for testing positive for not taking enough steroids or mutant growth hormones, Brickhead Mulligan. Hey, there was a reason for that. I had to quit taking steroids. My nutsack was shrinking, and I sprouted this mini-me on my shoulder. Bricks Jr., freak me out. You're a pussy. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. Second down and six. when he hurdles. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. He might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in, you know, the usual money, bodies, coffee cans filled with well, uh, you know, mostly coffee. Tastes better, like Eskimos burying salmon heads, kimchi. If I'm adding anything, really tastes good. And that pass play is good for eight yards. And that'll bring up third and one. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. Second down and seven. And he runs it for four yards. Third and two. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, 
punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, that well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog named Snags. He got you by a Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. to the races. And it's first and ten. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Second down and ten. And they run it for a couple of yards. Third down and eight. It's not short, but this one shouldn't give the kicker any trouble. Unless he collapses under pressure and never makes another kick again. Hmm. That's, the kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. First and ten. Defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. Second down and nine. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. And they call a ginormous dirty trick. Oh, and he fumbles the ball on that hit. When you hurdle and get hit, chances for a fumble increase. He's at the ten. He scores! The coach isn't liking that call. Oh, his head just exploded. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Ten-yard pick up there. Normally a first down, but here, he's just making up ground. Yeah. And we've got a tight battle here as quarter one comes to an end. Finally. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. And he punched his way out of that tackle. Third and two. I've seen this guy run through a brick wall. He loves pain. First down. First down and nine. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. I think he's more of a downer's guy than a speed feed for him. He's running from his team.
And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? And it's first and ten. And they're picking up chunks of yards now. Nice reception for ten yards. Second down in inches. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone. Monty finds his head. And it's first and ten. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. There was an explosion, but everyone's walking away from it. Them cool guys always walk away from explosions. Hey, that might be good for the movies, but it's awful for the MFL. First and ten. That's a four yard gain. Second down and six. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. He took a beast boost injection. Now watch him stomp all over his opponents. I want to take a beast boost injection too. Uh, now that has weird side effects. And the crowd goes wild. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. It's good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. Man, this guy just exploded into flames. Now the defense has to try to tackle a running bonfire. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pig, Rim. You're right. Quarterback calls a sonic blast, dirty trick, and throws a supersonic, and he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. And 
And so that's the two minute warning. Second down and more than the QB would like. First time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. Third down and the punter is warming up. And the defense quickly calls a timeout. They want to get the ball back. Not many kickers can kick it over 50 yards in these brutal conditions. Let's see if he can do what few others can. That was like a movie trailer, Grim. It's good. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first and ten. Good thing they don't have drug testing in the NFL because whatever the nice run for five yards. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. Second down and five. Nine. Nine. One. Nine. And a hard run there picks up the first down. And they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up at the crack of noon. We're talking about the NFL, you moron. Second down in a very lot. One. And he sticks his fingers in the defender's eyes, netting him a pickup of about eight on the play. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. And then Katz will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. He heard footsteps, so he tossed the ball out of bounds. Good move. And kickers practice for this kind of kick every day. Pretty standard. Nothing standard when you got bloodthirsty mutants on the defensive line. And it's good! You know, Grim, in this league where murder and bribery are cheered, it's good to be good, huh? I mean, can we all just... Not this shit again. Rex, I'm stopping it right there. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. It's a close battle as the quarter ends. Halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsatan Industries. They make the world a better place by making the government tell you it is. We're at the start of the third quarter in a nail biter. The teams line up for the second half kickoff. <laughs> The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond.
like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. And it's first and ten. And he picks up eight yards on a strong run. Second down and two. is better than nothing but not by much third down and a pussy here and he snatches that one out of the air for a first down see if they can get something going here And it's first and ten. I hope you covered your ears, Bricks. No one was interested in that incomplete pass. Uh, not a ball's feelings are high. Hey, don't make me explain that balls don't have emotions again, all right? Second down and ten. It's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. First and four. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Hot three. Second down and five. Hot. Hot one, hot two. Hot. Four yards on that one. And he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. And that'll bring up third and one. Hot one, hot two. Hot. Hot. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Hey, Bricks, they're going for two here. Hey. And they run it in for two points. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know what? I'm the greatest, the greatest, I tell you. <laughs> the home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! First and ten. First down! I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past. If you don't kill this ref with the attack ref dirty trick, you're gonna lose, pal. You kinda deserve it if you're this dense, Grim. <laughs> First down and long, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not gonna take it anymore. First down in a mile. The offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their beast boost injection. Close your eyes, Bricks. This is going to get ugly fast. They'll be washing bloody footprints off the defense's jerseys after a run like that. And that'll bring up second and one. 
Third down and three. First down! He hit that line the way a rolled up dollar bill sticking out of flimsy Lohan's nose. It's a mare in Lost Wages, Nevada. And it's first and ten. Sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. A nice run there for eight yards. Second down and two. Just follow the bloody footprints to the new line. That's a first down. First and eight to go. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. Second down and long. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. We're tied up at the end of the third quarter. You can smell the excitement on the fans. I mean, literally, it is ripe in here. Man. Junior, was that you? Hey, blow me. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. blew up and he's on fire. I'm not talking about one of those video game fire modes. I mean, literally, he's like burning bacon down there. He hit that line the way a Republican congressman hits the airport men's room. Good and hard. First down. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. Nice pickup for six yards. Third down and, well, good luck. Oh, with the punishing hit. The kicker should make this, but you know how it goes in this league. It goes 
right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. He can go all the way. The ten. They might catch him. Move your fat little mutant. Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. I think the defenders are scared of this guy, Bricks, and they have every right to be. Yeah, he's a murderer! And it's first and ten. This guy's gonna get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. I personally think that the ginormous guy is compensating. And then he charged the ball loose, and it's a fumble. That's what happens when you hurdle and take a hard hit. Oh, so close, but not today. First and ten. The ground game should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? Last time I ordered Korean, I got Kim Jong Il. And that player has one speed. He's the bullet and the offense is the target. Man, how did he screw that up? No one died. Kill Newtons. First down and six. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Second down and five. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. First down. 
Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. That's gotta hurt. Man, those mutant traps will kill you faster than one of Brick's farts. And it's first. They stump the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. an incomplete pass. Looks like the defense got away with that one there. How do you want to grab the receiver like that? He could get hurt. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Brits' ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. The defender says, I don't think so. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. And into the end zone for a touchdown! Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Uh, I thought they were going to do some sort of chorus line. First and ten. Oh, and he just turned ginormous. Look out! He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Second down and ten. has to make something happen here with one timeout left. Third down and the QB is saying his prayers. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's and that's their last timeout. The defense can't bend or break. They've got to get a stop here. And it's first and ten. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. And he's going to have to boot this halfway to hell. He is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just give him the points and let's move on. Well, if you're into humiliation and scatological fetishes, this burns law is right up your alley. Well, there's a waste of an afternoon if you're a Leland fan. But if you're from Leland, uh, that's what every day feels like, I suppose. So, man, uh, you... They battled hard, but didn't have enough to get it done. They choked like a bunch of banana choking chimp chumps choking on a bag of chimp dicks. Did you just say choking on a bag of chimp dicks? Yeah. Yeah, that was beautiful. <laughs> Grim 
Nitro with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Hard.